this series we're gonna create a stickman, we're gonna assemble him, we're gonna add some physics so he can work, uh, we add a limp controller and we can even create a longest arms like this one so you can do whatever you want with it and move it up down right left so take the leg make him do karate uh, something like this uh, want to make him walk on one hand you can do it just put the leg here and add some fucking force and you've got this so yeah he's gone so in this part we're gonna create the ragdoll and just uh, assemble the stickman so let's get started I've got uh, this project, I imported it from this uh, package over here, so I will just give you the link to download it. So, all you got here is uh, those sprites, some scripts from other tutorials that we don't need, and those sprites here. So, this stickman in the PDF looks something like here, so... Uh, it's just a bunch of rectangles, you create them with this uh, rounded rectang rectangle. Oh shit, so let's say something like this, and then you just snap it like here, and you've got yourself a stickman, basically. Now, to export it, I just... Uh, made export and layers to files you choose where to actually export it and make it a trim layer and transparent and basically this is it so now let's actually assemble this stickman so uh, here in the models we've got those sprites so uh, let's put the head here Let's connect a neck, a body, um, arm. You can actually make it uh, more precise, but whatever. Uh, another leg. Now create an empty object. Let's cut it. Call it main body, and connect everything now. For the main body, we want a rigid body, so uh, this body would actually be the real rotations and stuff. So, for the body here, let's make fixed joint and connect it to our uh, body. Wait, I mean uh, the main body, like this. Now, for the neck, we would do a uh, hinge joint and for every other part we do a hinge joint let's connect it to the body and we want to change the anchor to be somewhere like here so this is the rotation uh, origin so this wall part would rotate around this point uh, same for the head let's make a hinge connect it to the neck uh, where is the neck? Neck. Let's make it somewhere like here. And we want to use limits for the head so it won't uh, go all around. So minus 10 and 10 should be fine. Same for the neck. And now for the arm. Again, hinge joint, let's make it 0.5, that should be fine. Now, let's connect it to the body, for the upper arm, hinge, 0.5, and upper arm, for the leg, same thing, hinge, 0.5 on the y-axis and 
the body and for the leg again but now we want the upper leg now 0.5 here and now we've got a drag tool uh, working except uh, no colliders so let's just add colliders and let's change the colliders to horizontal for the hands and go for the head and add a circle collider so now it looks something like this okay now we just want uh, two arms so duplicate it go for the legs duplicate it and now you've got your stickman like this one now now we want to make him ignore his own body so let's create a new script let's make it a ignore collision and let's drop it on to the main body and here we want to get all the colliders on the body so colliders equals to uh, get components in children and colliders now for colliders and we want to loop again so here we can start with i plus one and we need to make physics Ignore collision, uh, colliders I and colliders K. So basically, we take, we look for all the colliders and make each collider ignore the other one. And this should work. So, yeah, we make the script. So now, yeah. He works just fine. Now let's just check it out with uh, pulling his arms. And yeah, we got our stickman uh, flying and whatnot. So yeah, this is the end for this part. And in the next part, we're gonna uh, make him stand. And I guess we would probably make the limp controllers and it's probably gonna be long so see you next time